OK, the NHL aims to get next season started by the 1st of January. Gary Bettman, the commissioner, has come out and said in recent weeks that the NHL would rather that it has a reduced season than no season at all. Obviously, they're very mindful that in 2004-2005 there was no season and they've also had two lockout-shortened seasons since 1994 due to strike action by players. And it did cost the NHL a lot of money uh, not playing those games. Um, the thing is, this is the interesting thing, the longer they leave it and the later it gets into January and then into February, uh, the shorter the season becomes. So if they start earlier in January, so if, if in the first week of January they can get play started and the season started, we're looking at uh, anywhere between 60 and, and 68 game season. The longer they leave it, the shorter the season becomes. And if it goes into February when they start, which is when the AHL, the Affiliate League, is going to start on February the 6th, it becomes a 48-game season because they do want the Stanley Cup awarded by, by the end of June. They, they are trying to avoid a clash with the Olympics should the Olympics go ahead in Tokyo this summer. So they want to get the Stanley Cup awarded at what would be a normal time frame for the Stanley Cup final, which would be June, possibly early July. Now, bearing in mind, in this period, the World Championship ice hockey has got to take place as well. Uh, that was obviously postponed last year. And so, obviously, they want to get players available uh, for the World Championships, which means the playoffs would have to start in April. Also, they have to be mindful as their TV deal expires uh, with the current US broadcasters at the end of the season. Um, and the, the TV deal is up for tender. So that is interesting to note as well. Uh, they've also got to bear in mind that in the CBA that they renegotiated, in order to get play resumed at the end of last season, uh, the, the festive period, the players want more time off over the festive period. So this would probably indicate that the 1st of January is highly optimistic. I would think a, a reasonable start date would be the middle of January, like the 15th, 16th, possibly 17th, some sometime around the middle of January, which would then mean you could not have an 82-game schedule. It would definitely have to be around the 60-game mark. But it is interesting to note that they are trying to make, come, make some contingency plans for the length of the season. It, it's more likely to be a 48-game season, um, but then we need to know what the divisions look like. And will the border op open between the US and Canada? Will there be a Canadian division, which has been discussed by other YouTubers as well? I will note that. And uh, how would, would it be in division play only? Would, would the conferences have to change? There, there's a host of possibilities how they could fixture uh, 48 to 68 games in a condensed, shortened season. Um, short seasons, ironically, would suit some teams with uh, stronger goaltending, uh, where you, you can split the games between goaltenders. Vegas, for example, would, would be well-suited to a 48-game season because they've got Lerner and Fleury as basically two starting goaltenders. Other teams would, would struggle in a in a condensed season. Other teams may struggle in a slightly longer format of the season, again because of, of goaltending. On another side note, along with the CBA having been extended last season and the TV deal up for negotiation, which is forcing the NHL's hand, they're also releasing some more alternate jersey, uh, jerseys. All 31 teams will have an alternate jersey this season. Um, so they want to get some merchandise sales in there as well. And what they noticed when they had note the, the lockout lost season of 2004-2005, is merchandise sales tanked, and that cost the league a lot of money. It also meant negotiating subsequent TV deals. They got less money in return from the US than they otherwise would have. So they are being very mindful about the money aspect of not playing. But it'll be interesting to see what date they finally settle on, and it'll be interesting to see if they have to change the divisions to suit uh, the border situation between the US and Canada. Uh, as things currently stand, the border is still closed for non-essential travel. What we had in the last season was the bubble format with, with host cities. So it'll be interesting to see whether that format is, is resumed uh, with the four divisions. It'll be also interesting to see if there's any inter-conference play between teams or whether it be interdivisional play or just within your own division, and what format the playoffs take. Will there be the play-in round like we had this year, or will that just be a one-off, or will that be brought back for this season, depending on how many games get played? And uh, then you've got to look at the, the restricted and unrestricted free agent market, and, and, and a pre-season of at least two weeks. And if they're going to have a, a start on the first, the players would have to return by around the 14th, 15th of December into camp. Now, that would affect the renegotiated CBA. So there's a lot of unknowns. They could start before January the 1st, 
highly unlikely. It looks more likely they will start in the first week of February and, and par go parallel with the AHL, uh, their affiliate league, uh, because there are players on two-way contracts. And a lot of, some of these players haven't played for nearly a year by the time the league resumes. There are seven teams in the NHL that haven't played since March. And the AHL, no team has played since March. There's a lot of players who haven't played for a very, very long time. So the risk of injury also increases. So it'll be very interesting to see the injury rate and the amount of players that end up injured. It'll be also interesting to see the standard of play, considering a lot of players have only recently finished the playoffs and other players haven't played for the better part of a year. But we'll see what happens and we'll see if January the 1st is an achievable target by the NHL. We will find out in due course what meetings have been had and, and what discussions and plans are on the table. Uh, the longer they leave the start date, the shorter the season will have to ultimately become. And then logistics get interesting about whether hub cities or, or playing only within division, restructuring the divisions. And then that is another headache the NHL has to overcome. The festive period could be the sticking block at uh, early January start date. Thank you very much for watching. Place your thoughts below and I will have some more videos for you very, very soon.